Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will design this simple logo design by using Inkscape version 1.0. If you haven't downloaded it yet, then you can download it from their official website and it will only consume 88.5 MBs of your internet data. Now let's continue with today's tutorial. So if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then first of all go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options are turned on. Then to set the document properties, simply go to file, select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width of the page to 1280 and hide to 720 pixels and simply left click on this cross icon like this. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu. Simply left click on this icon to get fill and stroke menu. And the second one is align and distribute menu. Simply left click on this icon to get align and distribute menu. And you can see both of these menus are appearing on the right side of your screen. Now left click on this zoom to fit to page in windows like this. Now select the create stars and polygons tool. And from here select the polygon and set the number of corners to 6. Now hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in outward direction like this. Change its color to some dark color like this black color. Now select edit paths by nodes tool then go to path and select path effects. And here you can see that path effects menu is appearing on the right side of the screen. Simply left click on this plus icon and from here select corners. And now you can see that green colored nodes are appearing on every corner of the polygon. Simply hold down the left mouse button on this node and drag the mouse towards this point. Then also drag this node towards this point. Then select the top node and drag it somewhere like here. Now hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this node and you will get this menu. Simply left click on this inverse fillet and select modify. Like this. It will show you a zoomed in version. To reset the view simply left click on this zoom to fit page in windows like this. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this and change its color to some different color like this yellow color. Now select the selection tool and here you have the option for the height. Simply set the height of rectangle to say 15 pixels. Now enable the snapping and from here turn on snap to nodes and path and then turn on snap to rectangle corners like this. And drag this rectangle at this corner of the shield like this. Now simply select Z on your keyboard and you have the option for the zoom in. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse over this corner like this. Then again select the selection tool, left click on this rectangle, right click, duplicate it and drag it to downward direction up to this corner. And change the color of this bottom rectangle to say this green color. Now again select zoom to fit to page in windows like this. Now select this rectangle, right click duplicate it and change its color to say this red color. Then left click on this plus icon and in the search bar simply write offset. And here you have the option. Simply left click on this one. Now select edit path by nodes and here you will see a small circular icon which is appearing at the center of shield. Simply hold down the left mouse button on this icon and you can drag it in or out. Simply drag this icon towards this corner of the rectangle like this. To see a better view again select Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area like this. Again select edit pass by nodes tool and drag it towards this corner. Now again right click duplicate it this time change its color to say this pink color. Again you can see a circular icon. Simply hold down the left mouse button on this icon and drag it towards the bottom corner of the rectangle like this. Now select the selection tool left click on this middle shield hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this black shield. Then go to path and select difference. Then select this yellow rectangle and press delete on the keyboard. Again select this green rectangle and press delete on the keyboard. And select zoom to page in windows like this. Now select both of these shapes. Go to path and select union. Now we will switch screen to our browser like this. In the search bar simply write pixabay.com and press enter. And again in the search bar simply write bull head. And here you will see the option for the images. 
simply left click on this menu and a drop down menu will appear and here left click on this vector graphics and scroll down and here you can see that different vectors are appearing simply left click on this one and you can see that this vector is free for commercial use and no attribution is required simply left click on this free download and from here select the vector graphics to download this vector graphics first of all you have to sign up to this website and it is completely free so you can register it easily now simply left click on this download button and you can see that the download has started now again switch to our Inkscape windows like this and we will import this vector graphics in our current Inkscape page to do this simply go to file and select import and here is the source file of that vector simply left click on this one from here select ok and you can see that the file is imported in Inkscape now we have a bigger view of this one so simply left click on this zoom to fill drawing in windows and you can see now simply hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button on this handle and drag the mouse in inward direction like this and place it at the center now again select zoom to fit page in windows like this and turn off the snapping options from here now drag it towards the center to align it at the center simply select both of these shapes scroll down and select align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and select center on vertical axis like this now again left click on this one change its color to say this light blue color again hold down the control key on your keyboard and hold down the left mouse button on this handle and drag it in inward direction like this now select both of these shapes go to path and select difference now again select this create stars and polygons tools from here select star then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in outward direction like this now again select the selection tool and drag this star at the center of the shield like this again right click duplicate it and drag it here again right click duplicate it and drag this star up to this point like this now select all of these stars go to path and select union then again select both of these shapes go to path and select difference and our simple logo is ready I want to know about your opinion about this one so please share your thoughts in the comment section and if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day